doesn't love nachos? Crispy tortilla chips covered in salsa, black beans, onions, corn, and covered in a delicious ooey gooey melty cheese. When it comes to nachos, this ain't my first rodeo, but today on Cravings Food Adventures, we're making cowboy nachos. These nachos are studded with cowboy approved little chunks of beef, corn, black beans, and are served with a side of guac and sour cream. This platter screams party. It's perfect for your game night or your parties and it's always wanted, dead or alive. Let's start with the steak. I'm using Angus sirloin. These are about 10 ounce steaks, but you can use as little or as much steak on top of your nachos as you like. I'm going to marinate it with a dry rub of my homemade taco spice blend. Now this is a unique blend of flavors. If you want this recipe, I'm going to throw the link in the description as well as at the end of this video. Once the steak has been marinated with this rub on both sides, I'm going to cook it till it's medium well. Once my steak is cooked to medium well, I'm just going to take it out and I'm going to leave it aside for at least 10 minutes. I've also barbecued some corn and I'm going to cut the kernels off the cob. It's now time to start working on assembling the nachos. Now here's a tip for you. I always like to cut a piece of parchment paper the same size as the platter that I'm going to serve it in and I'm going to insert that onto my oven proof baking tray. Now this makes it really easy for me to pull that parchment paper off the tray and put it on my serving tray when it's ready to eat. I'm going to start with a single layer of tortilla chips. Now I'm using these beautiful blue corn tortilla chips but you can use any kind of tortilla chips that you like. What I do like to do is layer them in a thin layer so that every one of those chips gets all of that ooey gooey cheese and all of the toppings. I'm going to layer on some salsa, some black beans, some jalapenos and some corn and I'm going to follow this with a lot of Tex-Mex cheese. I'm going to put this in the oven. It's going to take about five to seven minutes till the cheese is ooey and gooey. In the meantime, my steak has already rested and I'm going to cut these into strips and further into little cubes. Once my nachos are ready and out of the oven, I'm going to put them on my platter and then I'm going to cover it with the chunks of beef that I cut up, some fresh tomatoes, I've got some cilantro and I'm going to serve it with a side of guac and sour cream. If you want a really fabulous recipe for guacamole, I'm going to leave that link as well at the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed this really, really simple recipe, but it packs so much flavor and so much pizzazz. Thank you so much for watching me on Cravings Food Adventures. Don't forget that I upload new videos every Friday. So please make sure that you're subscribed so you're the first to see them. And until I see you again, do take care. Bye.